ครับมาแล้ว Welcome back again to my YouTube channel. And for today's vlog, ang gagawin natin is gagawa tayo ng ulam naman, hindi na dessert. Gagawin ko yung dish na to kasi parang ang dami kong napapansin na every time na maririnig nila yung pangalan ng dish na to, ang pumapasok agad sa isip nila is mahirap gawin, pricey, which is pricey naman talaga kung marami yung gagawin nila. Kasi nga mahal na yung meat natin ngayon. Plus, ang hirap hanapin ng ingredients sa market, which is not. So, for today's vlog, we are going to make Bicol Express. So, let's go! So, for today's vlog, we will be needing these seven ingredients. First is pork meat, coconut milk, onion, garlic, ginger, shrimp paste, and beans. First step, slice naman na natin si onion, garlic, and ginger. Then, prepare na din natin ang ating beans. Much better sana kung ang ating gamit na chopping boards is wood chopping board than plastic chopping boards. Why? Siyempre, minsan pag magchachop ka, hindi mo may iwasang makat or may mahiwa dun sa chopping boards na gamit mo or masugatan yung chopping boards na gamit mo. So, bakit mas magandang gamitin yung wood chopping boards kesa sa plastic chopping boards? Kasi si plastic chopping boards, once it cut, it stays cut, leaving open areas where bacteria can easily enter and fester. So, meaning, they are more prone to retaining dirt, stains, and smell. Kaya nga, di ba, minsan, sa katagalan, nangingitim na yung ating plastic chopping boards and mahirap na siyang linisin in the long run. Itong si wood chopping board naman, kahit makat mo siya, it has a self-healing property against constant knife cutting. So, nag-close back up siya. Plus, mas madali mo siyang malilinisan or mahuhugasan. First, saute ginger, onion, garlic, and pork. By this time, pwede na natin ilagay ang ating coconut milk and then simmer until pork is tender. Then, by this time, pwede na natin ilagay ang ating unang pigang gata. And then, let it simmer. And then, after that, pwede na natin ilagay ang ating um, string beans. So, ayan, nailagay na natin ang ating string beans. Um, actually, yung string beans is optional. Usually, hindi talaga nilalagyan ng um, string beans yung Bigot Express. Pero ako nilalagyan ko siya para maging balance lang. Kung mapapansin nyo, thicker na yung ating sauce. So, um, pwede na natin ilagay yung ating bagoong. Normally, we saute bagoong together with ginger, onion, and garlic. But for me, mas gusto ko siyang um, ilagay sa huli kasi mas nalalasahan ko siya compare kapag sinote ko siya. And 
ayan na, pwede na natin ilagay ang ating sugar, pero dapat kontrolado lang natin kasi baka masyadong tumamis. And of course, nilagay na rin natin ang ating sili. And personally, um, ayoko nang masyadong maanghang na Bicol Express. Which is weird kasi ba diba, kapag Bicol Express, ibig sabihin maanghang. Pero ako, um, ayoko talaga nang masyadong maanghang kasi um, mababa yung tolerance mo sa maanghang na pagkain and for health reasons na rin. And paminta na nga, namuntik natin makalimutan. So ako, need ko talaga ngayon ng paminta kasi hindi ako naglagay ng salt since mahal na yung bagoong. And ayan, super thick na niya and super creamy. So, ayan na, pwede na nating iserve. And this is best served with bahaw char. <laughs> so, here's another trivia. Alam nyo ba kung sino ang naka ng Bicol Express? Taga Bicol ba siya? And bakit nga ba tinawag itong Bicol Express? Lahat ng yan ay sasagutin natin on this vlog. First question, sino nga bang naka ng Bicol Express? So, Bicol Express was invented by Cecilia Villanueva Calau or mas kilala siya bilang si Tita Selly. Second question, taga Bicol ba siya? The answer is somehow yes. Tita Selly was born in Los Banos, Laguna but she spent most of her childhood in Bicol which she learned how to cook some of Bicolana's dishes. Third question, so bakit nga ba ito tinawag na Bicol Express? Well, very tempting talagang i-assume na ang nasabing dish is originated from Bicol dahil nga yung first name ng dish was named after the place. However, sabi sa ating history, this dish was originated in Malate, Manila, kung saan mayroong restaurant si Tita Selly at ang kanyang kapatid, which they named the Grove Luto ni Inay. So, during that time daw, is marami silang customer complain na ang dish nilang laing ay masyadong maanghang. And that time then, Tita Selly decided to create a new recipe with coconut milk which she believed na patok sa taste ng mga tao sa area kung saan located ang kanyang restaurant. And that dish nga is ang ating Bicol Express sa ngayon. They named Bicol Express after the name of the train which passes their house na may biyahing Manila to Bicol and vice versa. But there's a belief na ang dish na ito was adopted by Tita Selly from a Bicolano recipe called gulay na may lada or vegetable with chili. Ang pinagkaiba lang is ang Bicol Express ay may meat or pork while ang gulay na may lada is pure vegetable only. Up. So yon tapos na natin gawin ng ating creamy Bicol Express. And o oh, ba mga jay, hindi naman ganun kahirap gawin ang Bicol Express. But don't worry kasi ako din naman before, hindi ako marunong gumawa ng Bicol Express. And wala din akong kainti-intere sa Bicol Express na yan kasi nga hindi ako fan ng mga food na maanghang. So... Yon, um, thank you for watching this video and I hope you enjoy. And I hope then that you learned something again from me today. And, wag din talaga masya, mulabas ng labas, mula din naman halagang gagawin sa labas. Kasi nga, di ba, um, ang dami, ang dami ba rin nagkakaroon ng virus, kahit na ilang months na ngayon. Kasi nga, mama, tigas kasi yung ulo, oy. So, yun. Bye! Ay, wait, 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 wait. Um, gusto ko rin mapasalamat dun sa few individuals na um, kaya hindi ko naman sinabi na i-share or i-promote yung aking YouTube channel is nakita ko na lang na pinapromote nila even di naman nakatag sa akin so nakikita ko pa din kasi friends kami sa Facebook so yun, thank you po and bye